Hi there guys, today I want to show you how to install your Luma 3DS in your 3DS. So what you're going to need, right there in front of you, your 3DS with the loader hacks or emunant. Some people don't use the loader hacks anyway. And of course, you're going to need the Luma 3DS files for your custom firmware. So I'm going to leave the link for the Luma 3DS files down below in the description. All right. so. Uh, you're going to find these files here that you've gotten <coughs> from the website so this one is what you need for the loader hacks and this one for the hacks you know if you launch it from the homebrew launcher even though i don't prefer this method to be honest there's also this one for the menu hacks if you launch it like uh, you know with the menu ha menu hacks l or any button and don't forget to make another folder uh, right there, call it um, payloads. Yeah. So uh, the payloads are just uh, some files that you can boot before you boot your 3DS. And uh, you can just, you know, use them to back up your land, uh, a lot of things. So you can use them to, in, to inject FBI etc so uh, if you check my video about FBI you will see that I'm using one of those payloads that are necessary for FBI injection okay so you put these files in your 3ds and then uh, you're going to be you know welcomed with a screen so let's go to my 3ds and show you okay so as you see here this is my 3ds so you will be welcome with this screen and then uh, you can see here uh, some options right so auto boot sysnand no use sysnand firm etc so there is this uh, there is some you know here in the screen down there are some explanations uh, what you use is actually for me i use you know in a new 3ds i use auto boot sysnand because i have you know sysnand loader hacks I use this one also enable loading external firms so this is especially for things like NTR custom firmware uh, language emulation this is also some dev stuff Shonan screen of course uh, it just shows whether you, are, you have uh, you know sysnant or whether you're booting on sysnant or emulant show GBA boot screen so this is just for GBA also there are some other features here like dev features if you want to enable enable them we just leave them as they are so this is a new 3ds CPU so this is just and only for the new 3ds <laughs> so don't use this on your old 3ds uh, pin lock if you want to you know lock your 3ds someone is using it like kids or something they might you know screw it up or something I don't know just you can you set your pin lock splash this is just pretty much I don't know just you know geeky stuff not really needed brightness on boot and default immune and so just going to hit start uh, to save and it's just going you know your 3ds is just going to reboot <coughs> right so there it is so this is you know my theme anyway so if you have any problem like uh, if you made something you know problem in booting your luma 3ds or something just you know turn off your 3ds right turn it off okay so when you want to boot uh, keep on press pressing select okay and go uh, boot your 3ds with select and then here you see again uh, you know the configuration so if ever you make a mistake or something you just can go back to the configuration and launch it again from your uh, you know from the menu again and make it work all right so this is guys this is how you install your luma 3ds custom firmware uh, launcher I hope you like it if you do please leave that some thumbs up subscribe you know and see you again in other videos bye bye